So in this video, we are going to go through the setup and um, demo of the lighting system I have created. Let's uh, jump over to the screen and get straight into it. Okay, so I have currently installed it on my website. It is on this root directory. Uh, if we go there, you will notice we get directed to the setup page. Uh, that is because you can't do anything until you've done the initial setup. From here, we get asked for some database details. I am just going to copy my details over to it. Uh, if you get any of these details wrong, the connection will fail and uh, you won't be able to proceed into the next step. So for example, if I get the password wrong, uh, we get database connection failed. If I put it in correctly, uh, we do connect. Let's go to the next step. Uh, we Tables. So the tables are just created in the background. We don't really need to worry about this. If this does fail, uh, again, you will be notified. Uh, and that is probably due to permissions on your database. Let's go to the next step and we have our bridge. So for this, um, we need to know the bridge IP. Uh, for my house, I know what it is. It's uh, 192.168.2.2. And uh, with the bridge, you actually need to physically push a button to generate a username for it or an API key as such. Um, so I've just brought in another camera, which is actually looking at my bridge. If I click connect now, I will be prompted to go and push the button. So I shall do that. Once the button has been pressed, you can see it's been redirected up here. We have our username and our IP. These are saved to the database and um, they and the connection was successful. So let's take that out because we don't need that and click next. Next, we need to set our administration password. It needs to be at least six characters or more. Uh, and again, if you enter in a blank password, um, So for one, it's too small. Uh, that was just a space I entered. Uh, so it can't be blank. If you enter in a password that's not of the right length, you get the password is too short. If I enter in some text that is longer, uh, but obviously doesn't match, uh, passwords don't match. So let's actually write something in that's uh, proper. And click set password. Password is set successfully. Next, we need to add in a location. This is used for the weather. So I'm putting in Hook Norton. Uh, set and it was set successfully. Finally, this is our finished screen. Uh, this is now set up, it has finished. We can log in with our admin and the password we set previously. So let's do that. Uh, notice if we try to get back to the setup pages, we can't because it has been completed. Um, we just keep getting directed back to this login page. Let's actually log in now and look at the system. So we are now in the system. Again, if you try to get back to the setup pages, you get redirected back to this page now. Um, and this is our user interface. So we have the current time and date up here. We have our weather with the location we set earlier. Currently it is 10.84 degrees and it's light rain outside. Uh, we have our sunset and sun uh, rise times as well. So along the side here, we've got our sort of main menu. We can log out, we can go to setup. We've got schedules, groups, scenes, and lights. Along here, we have all the lights in the system. Uh, we can click on any of these to see their current attributes and all that. Uh, and we can also change these as well, but I shall show you those as we go through. So let's bring in the webcam again. Uh, just make that a little bit smaller in the corner. So let's bring in that and let's aim it up at the ceiling. You can see the lights. Uh, I've got a couple of lights in view here. I've got two up here. There's a couple above me, but you can't see them as much. And then there's the LED strip around the back of my TV. You can also just see the blue um, light. Where is it? Some, yeah, 
there uh, there you can see the blue light in the tv that is another that's this philips hugo which is up there so if we want to control let's say this middle light here this one i've actually named as bed center i can identify it as you see it just flashes a little bit uh, i can also rename it so you can enter in a new name uh, you can turn it off completely um, even if you did identify then it still flashes you can turn it back on we can change its saturation which we will show do in a bit and we can change the brightness so let's put it right down really dim it's still on but it's uh it's, it's really dim let's put that back up to max so let's start messing with some of the colors uh, here we've got red as you can see it has gone red um, all of these colors ought to go through so we got yellow uh, down to green uh, you can't really see the green that much um, but it is green uh, let's move to the blues uh, we get our blue uh, if I change the saturation um, you will notice it gets whiter as we go down so like there that's sort of it's still got a tint of blue but it's a lot whiter uh, and that's full Full, full saturation of blue um, so that's our color selection we have underneath we can also set whites so we can have a really warm white um, all the way up to normal white and uh, a cool white which is sort of a, a bluish tint to it um, so that's you can control lights individually let's go to groups next because that sort of corresponds with the lights um, you can set up new groups we shall do that in a moment but first if i go to the bed area lights which is the three lights which are over there um i can actually change them as a group so as you saw it's now gone red uh, again i can identify that group i can rename the group uh, i can delete the group if i want to delete the group uh, i'm not going to because i need it i can do that in a test group in a minute um we can edit the group as well which i shall show you in a moment um, but yeah, everything else is basically the same. It just does it as a group of however many lights you've set. We can also turn them off and on and everything we've done with normal individual lights. Let's go to edit. As you know, we'll do, we'll do create a new group. So if we go and create a new group, all this test, and uh, we get all the lights in our system. So I can select whichever lights I want. Um, let's also select the actually let's select the ones which I can see so I can see the go I can see the TV LED strip and I can see the two bed ones above and center so down here as well you can call it is it a light group or is it a room uh, this is something which they introduced in the Philips API not long ago uh, if you just do a light group uh, it literally just is a group of lights uh, or you can actually assign it to a predefined room um, you can only have one type of one room so I've already got a bedroom set this bedroom is of group bedroom um, but you can set them to whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it as no for now and then we click create and as you can see our new group has been here I can identify that group um, I can turn off that group I can turn back on the group uh, again you can do everything you normally do with the other lights individually let's just go to edit uh, and let's say we didn't want these two lights in it anymore we can update uh, notice you can't update this uh, you have to delete the group and reset the group again um, but now we've edited that only these two lights are in the group so that's groups done let's move on to scenes scenes are predefined states which you've saved before so i've got a default state which i can recall which is just basically all the lights are on white um again i've got this amped aurora which is another scene just basically you can set whatever you want um so you set the lights up how you want them um either doing like individual setup then you can go to create new scene, give it a name, and uh, that name that scene will be done. Let's actually do it. So create scene. Here's our test scene. It's down here. We can rename it. We can delete it. We can recall it, and we can also update it. So if we go back to here, 
and let's say we change this one over here to red uh so bed center red let's bump the brightness up as well a bit hard to see we go back to our scenes we go to test we go to update it says do we want to yes we do uh so let's recall another scene and go back to this one as you see the red has been saved so that's uh, scenes in action uh, let's delete the scene and it disappears one thing we didn't do was delete our test group so i shall delete that now show that working um okay so there's an issue with that sort of button but i shall have a look at that in uh, later on uh, i will write that down quickly uh bugs yes live bug testing it's fun um group delete anyway let's move on to schedules schedules were really complicated to make <coughs> so at the moment i've got a wake up schedule um so you give it a name you give it a time when you want it to run and um you also give it a i'm going to take away the webcam now because we don't need that on it so you can yeah you see so you you tell it if it's going to be one time or recurring uh, recurring you can then set days or when it recurs uh, one time literally just runs once uh, and that's it you can enable it and disable it and you can assign what well, well, this is where the magic sort of happens really so you say here what you want to do so at the moment with this one it's actually recalling my wake up scene let's actually go in and create a new one uh, I could actually bring the webcam back in for this. Uh, I'll do that in a moment. I call this test and I set the time to 11. Um, 11 have I got time to do it? 11.42 11 possibly. I'll do a one time for today and I want to recall a scene default. So let's bring in the webcam and hopefully the lights should, I'm not touching the keyboard, hopefully the lights should, um, there we go, there we go, they just come on. Uh, so that, and then it gets deleted. Once it's run um, and it's no longer needed, it gets deleted unless you disable it. Um, but yeah, that, that scenes, uh, that's the scheduling all done. So, one last thing we need to look at is our settings here we can update our bridge ip and our location if necessary we can also add new users so we can give them a username and password and everything and uh, that user will also be able to log in as well um, one final thing i want to show which you would have to wait for otherwise is the idle screen i am just going to set the idle screen to trigger now and um, this is what we get after about five minutes of idle. It will show you the current time, the date, and uh, the weather situation at the moment. This is just sort of like a screensaver sort of thing. Uh, and to get rid of it, you can click it, but because I forced it on, it's, uh, it's, just, it's just on. Uh, but it will disappear once you click the screen. So that is basically it. Let's log out and... Um, leave it there so yeah that that is the system i've created uh makes use of the philips q api and uh open weather maps and uh, yeah i'm i'm really happy with that so that's a quick setup and demo of the lighting system uh hope you have enjoyed it